All right, y'all, we have one tub of cottage cheese. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna make a little hole right in the middle, okay? This is very important. And now I have three eggs. Now I know this might look weird, y'all, but you gotta trust me, all right? It's gonna be beautiful. So those were supposed to stay in the hole, but guess what, they didn't. So y'all, life happens, all right? <laughs> y'all, okay, I gotta tell you something too. We're gonna whisk this together, but today I have a live studio audience, so I probably... <laughs> I'll show you. I'll show y'all later. But uh, yeah. So if y'all hear some laughing in the ba background, I promise I didn't pay them to come. <laughs> uh, we have one bag of spinach. So this was frozen, but I thawed it out and I drained it. All right. So I'm gonna be big and strong like Papa. So that's why we're using spinach today. Um, we have one red bell pepper, and uh, I'm using my cat's dish because I ran out of clean dishes. So you know what? My cats are my family, and that's that. Okay. <laughs> We have uh, some white onion. So I'm just gonna put some right on top. Maybe about that much. That looks good. What do you think, Fred? Mm. Mm. Fred says, mm-hmm. All right, so we're gonna give this a little mix. Mixy, mixy, y'all. All right, just like this. So if y'all wanna use your hands, I think you can, but I feel like this one might be a little messy. And the glove cleat's gonna be real mad. And I'm trying to stay away from them. <laughs> y'all, this is real hard. Okay, uh, I have some feta cheese. So we're just gonna put some on top. Maybe about like half a cup? A cup? No, we putting it all, come on. <laughs> Ain't no such thing as too much cheese, y'all. All right, garlic powder. <laughs> Paprika. Here we go, y'all. And uh, some black pepper. Just right on top, all right? So this is a delicious, I didn't even tell y'all what I was making yet. See, I'm all thrown off. I got these people watching me here. They're making me so nervous. And, um, <laughs> and uh, that's that. So we're gonna mix this together. We're making a delicious spinach and feta casserole. I added some red bell pepper because I love them. They got a lot of vitamin C too, and that's real good. And you know who else loves red pepper? Betty the chicken. I should bring her in here, y'all. She loves pepper. All right, that's it. So now what we're gonna do here, my favorite thing to do on the top, we have some Ritz crackers, all right? So we're just gonna break these up as best we can. And we're gonna try not to make a mess, but you know what? Sometimes we make a mess, so that's it. I'm gonna cut this open. And uh, we're just gonna sprinkle these right on top, all right? I love my Ritz crackers. And I love a crunchy topping. All right, y'all, we're gonna put this in the oven at 350 for about 40 minutes. And I can't wait to show y'all this delicious, easy feta cheese casserole. All right, y'all, look who wanted to say hi. Kevin. Y'all, y'all wanna know what? Kevin's a little nervous today, you wanna know why? Y'all, today I have a live studio audience. I I'm just gonna show y'all real quick, but look at all these people here watching. Yeah. because he was scared but anyways uh now we have our uh, no the spinach feta thing okay <laughs> y'all i forgot what it was our spinach and feta casserole um with the ritz crackers on top y'all i literally just took this out of the oven so it's gonna be real hot um uh, okay let's get some more on my plate y'all know how i like i like big portions all right even though it's gonna be so hot remember we have our red peppers our spinach this smells good y'all can y'all smell this it smells good mm. <laughs> all right y'all i'm gonna have a little bite because i'm gonna burn my tongue but let's get a red pepper all right here we go Ooh. Oh. 